Okay, everybody, this is not a spring chicken. Yes, you can tell. I'm getting ready for Comic Con. But that's not the big news today. No, and it's not the ESPYs. The big news is Microsoft. Microsoft breaks up into pieces, fragments. Hmm. I wonder if they'll perform better. Meanwhile, we're going to bring old Kim on with comments on the headlines of today. Let me do that. <laughs> Microsoft breaks up into four pieces. Yeah, just four, not three, because they want to make things easier and better for the customer. No, what it is is there's a section of Microsoft that are no longer making any money, and they're basically getting ready to divest themselves of those sections so that they can keep... But I, I, I have no clue of why Microsoft, which is a massive company stock, is worth so much less than Apple stock, which is actually much smaller than they are. I know. It is. Microsoft is a massive company. That's right, because they do the operating system for almost every computer in the world. Except for Apple. Except for Apple. And Apple, is a, Apple doesn't even count as a blip on the map, because Apple computers are for people like me that basically are, yeah, okay, once you buy an Apple computer, you don't, you, you, you keep buying, you actually never get rid of the computer you got. So, and it's all over for the Republicans. Oh yeah, they said this morning, how dare the Republicans not obey the President of the United States? How dare do they not obey the Senate? How dare did they split the, uh, agricult the, the, uh, the food stamps out of agriculture and put it back to, you know, you know he was, uh, Karen's, Karen Sebelius' domain again. Uh, they said because they, they said that's going to destroy the party. Also, they've alienated all the Latino voters in this nation that weren't going to vote for him to begin with. Mm -hmm. I, I heard it said again last night. This is a guy. He said, "Let's see. You didn't get any Latino votes before you decided that you weren't going to kiss the back of the Senate, and you're not going to get any Latino votes after you did it." So. Hell, we won the day, folks. We didn't lose any ground for a change. That's what he said. We didn't lose any ground, which is, it's the same thing as, uh, I did an episode of Star Trek uh, a long time ago, and it was a great episode. At the end of the episode, um, uh, you know, uh, DeForest Kelly uh, said, hey, look at the bright side. And they said, what? We didn't get arrested this time. Oh. <laughs> we didn't get arrested. And you only have yourself to blame for Congress's ineptitude. Oh, yeah. When you have somebody like Bill O'Reilly continually blaming, well, Congress is this, Cong I don't see Mr. O'Reilly getting off his butt and, and trying to become a member of Congress to change anything. I would see nobody, okay, um, uh, that, okay, I remember Mark Twain basically did a discourse on it. Mark Twain said that, uh, said the very same thing, that, you, you know, that, uh, you never get the Congress you want, but you always get the Congress you deserve. And they ask him, well, why don't you, um, why don't you run for public office? He said, I have, and I've been defeated. Mm -hmm. So he'd, already, he'd actually tried and was defeated. That at least is a person uh -huh. that made the effort. That gave him the right to open his mouth because he ran and he got defeated, but he tried. But he tried. Bill O'Reilly and other pundits are doing. And U.S. arms showing up in hands of pro-Assad militias. Her daddy said, everybody but the president knew that was going to happen. <laughs> now, all the weapons that he's sending over there to help the people fight, they're going straight to Assange people because you can't trust them because they feel... Oh, her daddy said, if you lie to, a mo and lie to an infidel, you're not lying. Mm -hmm. So they'll tell you anything they want to tell you because according to Allah, they're not lying. And Yahoo retires AltaVista search engine and other services. I know. Most people didn't even know AltaVista still existed. What happened was AltaVista was the system, it's like Go Video, which I really get Go, which I hate the Disney people have because it doesn't work right, it freezes. But AltaVista was the personal system that they used at Yahoo when they wanted to communicate between their own people. And Andrew Garfield stumps for a gay Spider-Man. Why can't he be into boys? Uh, oh my gosh! Uh, yeah, which means everybody knows that Garfield is now basically came out. <sighs> it's just, uh, okay, you also I mean... know, here's the trick is, he wouldn't have said it. Okay, why did they get rid of the Shalene girl and bounce her? Shalene Woodley? Yeah, Shalene Woodley. It's probably because they've decided to make the new love interest of Spider-Man a guy. Oh my That's called tipping the hat. When God. he comes out and says, why don't they? He wouldn't say that, why don't they, unless they are. 
which will basically mean that movie is a dead movie because, oh, oh. I, I heard him say, well, you know, Bill Riley said, well, they have gay rights all over the world, so I really don't understand what the big deal is here. Well, because they don't have gay rights. So they, if they don't care what you do, as long as you don't get caught doing it. Mm -hmm. I mean, if, if you're going to stage a rally, a gay rights rally, they'll toss you in jail. But virtually every country in the world but the United States has rules against such, mm -hmm. including Canada and England. And federal marriage benefits, not for everyone. Oh, yeah. The, oh, it said, just because you're gay doesn't mean you get the benefits. Just because oh, you're gay and married does not gosh. mean you get the benefits. And they thought they all got the benefits. Cause... Uh -uh. It doesn't work that way, folks. They, they, uh, they just assumed that this, the Supreme Court did not rule. The Supreme Court ruled specifically that you cannot deny benefits to people that are such and such. But if you don't give the benefits to anyone, then you're not denying it from the people. That's, oh, it, it, Herbie Daddy said, did they just make that announcement this morning that the CalPERS in the state of California, who, who's a left-wing organization ran by the unions, cannot possibly meet the Obamacare demands because uh, there's too many people that don't want to join. Mm -hmm. uh, and they said, well, you have to join. They said, no, the rules don't say we have to join. So, And gas tax on the rise. Prices of consumer goods expected to increase. There's no inflation. I can guarantee you that that, that $5 gallon of milk that used to cost you $2.99 does not exist. That the gas, the, you know, that extra buck and a half they've added to the gas, well, that doesn't exist. That, ni that, that 99 cent of bread that's now costing you four bucks, that doesn't exist because they'll say there is no inflation in our country. Mm -hmm. But they also don't do any shopping. Oh, and Pennsylvania's ag might not even defend their gay marriage ban in court. Isn't that something? Oh, uh, you mean their age, attorney general? The attorney general had decided, though, it doesn't make any difference that our state passed it and we're not, I'm not going to defend it. Which means, what in the world? according to the Constitution, if I don't, according to what the Supreme Court says, if I don't defend it, the people have no, they have no legal standing to go to court on it. Uh -huh. and, and what they also said that the Attorney General will simply be replaced because it is the job of the Attorney General to, to defend. defend. It's the whole trick in California. When Arnold Schwarzenegger and the Attorney General refused to us do to defend a law, which is what they basically used at the moment to say you have no standing, they violated the law. And so they're, go they're going to have to, the Supreme Court is going to have to go, they're, they're going to have to let these people argue their court before the court. And the court is going to have to decide one way or the other. They said punting is not what a court's supposed to do. Mm, yeah, the Supreme Court has been very popular with that recently. Yeah. Settlement construction in the way of breakthrough on peace talks. Uh, oh, yeah, because uh, what happened is Kerry found out that you, just because he's, he works for Obama doesn't mean you're going to get anything done because the Muslims don't like Obama. Mm -hmm. The Jews don't trust Obama. If the Muslims don't like him, the Jews don't trust him, sending an envoy over there to settle and make a peace agreement is never going to work. First of all, they're building on their own. It's called, you lost the war. We build where we want to build. When you win the next war, then you build where you want to build, and we become pissants. And House GOP revives Farm Bill by splitting it in two. Yeah, and the Democrats are throwing fists. They said, the president is going to veto it, and then the Republicans are going to say, well, we passed it, and the president vetoed something that was going to help all you people. They said they're going to pass their version of immigration now and say the Democrats are responsible for canceling it. Not us. We passed it. We gave we gave the people here what they wanted. We gave the people here what they wanted. Uh, we just didn't give the, the people that are here illegally what they wanted because we tell them you have to go fill in at the back. You have to go stand at the back of the line. You know, I mean, they had a congressman said my, my mom and dad came here legally. They waited 10 years to come into the country. And they're to I have now been told that one of our relatives must stand at the back of the back of the line because they're going to give these 11 million people priority. That are he uh, said, I'm a lawyer. He said, do you understand the word of illegal? Uh huh. Yeah. And a Monty bubbleism for the Mark Twain of the animal kingdom. Okay, that uh, there are too many people opening their mouth that aren't willing to stand up for what they're saying. <laughs>